Hey, and we're back again. It's Friday. It's team reveals. It's a new bunch of guests. So I want to introduce our, our guests here. We have uh, Jailstorm here. Some some wild knowledge that that'll be kicking. Uh, we got Lotus Knight, Mister Pro Guy, and then we have Marty B, an expert on on both Pro and Wild. So. We have um, 12 teams that are going to be in the Wild uh, Wild Conference, which is going to be Green Conference this season. Um, it's, what's, what are we at? Season f- three right now for Wild, correct? Yes. Yeah. In the fourth season because the first one was season alpha. That's so. that's right. Yeah, so, it's a weird naming. But. Yep. No, it's it's all good. So then we have uh, 18 teams that are going to be in the Pro, um, pro Division or Pro Series. Uh, so we're going to have two conferences with that, with the pink and the black conferences, like last season. Um, that's going to be their sixth uh, sixth time going into it, so it's it's slowly growing. Um, so that's going to determine the Wheel of Doom for, for those teams uh, ripping into it. And then each each person on the panel here is going to have their, their take on the five strongest teams in each of the series. So uh, I know Marty B is... is is definitely going to say his team five times. Um, so, can we make a rule where we don't say our own team? <laughs> yeah, we we could do that. I mean, it, it, I feel it's, like that'll be fair for everyone. It's it's one of those things, right? So, yeah. So I'll avoid that because we all know my top ones. <laughs> it's fine. Everybody knows. Right. Everybody knows. So, so it should be a fun night. Um, so we're gonna get started here with. Uh, with Jailstorm bringing in our first uh, Wild Series team, um, which is going to be right now. So go ahead there, Jailstorm. Hey, guys. Uh, just saying hey to everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, our first team for uh, for Wild here in the Green Conference for all 12 teams, um, Hair Club, coming back again this season. Captain White Delight. They've got Concern Mom, Otters, Burnt, and Memnarch. Some of these... Uh, some of Wild's best players and also some of Wild's uh, best community com- uh, content creators. So, yeah, I called them Tempo, Storm, and Friends with uh, Corbett last reveal stream. And it's basically that again. You know, White Delight told me uh, after last season that he is planning on not memeing as much this time. So. <laughs> I expect them to do a lot better with that alone because that could have netted them about two wins, I believe. Yeah. And even though they lost Keith numbers, Memnark coming in is a huge pickup. He also fits the Tempo Storm and Friends moniker. So the team keeping its its image, they're going to do very well. Oh, and yeah. they're a team to watch out for. Yeah, no, we can expect these guys in playoffs um, almost guaranteed here just because of the talent and their past um, mm-hmm. their past performance. So. so, How did they do last season? I knew they were pretty, pretty good, a pretty good contender, I would think, right? They were uh, they the only ones. They made it to semifinals, right? Uh, they made it to quarterfinals. Okay. Quarter. Lost to the eventual winners in Everyone's a Winner. But they were also the only ones to beat Everyone's a Winner in the regular season. Ah. Wow. So, when they don't meme... Oh. They're very good. When they don't meme, they are the dream. There you go. Oh, that was from last night. Sorry. Meme dream team. Okay. <laughs> uh, have everyone's a winner here. <laughs> Run into the next team. Yep. So that'd be okay. So you can get to announce the, uh, the champions of last season. So I get to announce the champions of last season. Who I really think are going to be the champions of this season again. Um, this is everyone's a winner with Battle Tag, Hazer, 6J, Absolute, and Sundy. And I think this is exactly the same lineup as last time. Yes, it's the same players as last time. The team stuck together and they're planning on taking on THL by Storm it's again. Like, it's always hard. Difference? Yep. The only difference is who? Uh, the only difference is Sunday is now captaining that team. Absolute decided to take a step back from captaining. Okay. So I know he's not playing the game as much, but he mm-hmm. has 
enjoyed it enough to still play uh, it within the Wild series. So, other than that, it's the same as last time and still very scary. I get the opportunity to play Hazer not once, but twice in the Octoth- Octathon there. And my God, the wild player, he's pretty strong. So, it's very good. All right. So, Marty's gets the uh, third team coming up, which is... Wild THL Fanatics. This team is, uh, this team is a bit different this season now. So, Dr. Bomb is coming back as captain. But we see a bit of a shakeup. The only person that wasn't that was a regular last season on the team was Electric Sheep City. Mm-hmm. Now we have Slod joining. So Slod left the now disbanded Seas of Cheese to join uh, Wild THL Fanatics. Turtle, as we all know from other standard THL series, is now dipping his toes into Wild with them. And Wild regular Labora Sangra is joining the team as well now. So, very exciting. And looking forward to playing quite a lot of them. And yeah, Tur- no, we can expect good things from a number of uh, from a number of members on this team. Uh, Labora Sangra and Slot especially. I've seen them quite a couple times. So, um, pretty interesting. And this is the same turtle that was on uh, Tonk. Is that correct? I or different? so, yes. Okay. Just... Yeah, this this is Tonk Turtle. So Tonk. Very <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so that leaves me with um this team. Fell me or fell me I'm I'm a wreck or feel me if I'm I'm a wreck, which whatever that is. So <laughs> I like the uh the graphics pretty funny. Um so we got Snake Fuzz coming in as Captain Peanuts, uh the mentalist and uh is it Kyrex? That's how I'm going to pronounce it. And I think it's Kyrex. Nef- yeah, and then Nefola. So, so recognize some of the names on there, but uh, Sneak Fods, good, good pal of mine through, uh, I think, Legacy and a few other uh, series that we bumped into each other. So, Yeah, th- this is another team that's mostly sticking together uh, from last season. I don't remember their na- their team from the top of my head let me double check real quick it was made in heaven made in heaven okay yeah gotcha. so these guys were all on made in heaven last season and the only difference is the team name this time they're fell me i'm a wreck fell me so, i'm a wreck there you go yeah they just barely missed playoffs but they were doing pretty well overall i think they suffered from a stronger conference mostly where they had to face some very, very menacing teams. But they'll be pretty competitive this season. So there was no free there was no free uh, free conference in, in Wild? I mean, Jailstorm's going to get mad if I say his <laughs> conference is free. Oh, I know what you're going to say, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. so. uh, yeah, there's, a, there's always a free conference, so we gotta yeah. got to figure this one out. You named us a uh, Brown Conference for a reason, so. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, <laughs> if you're no Brown, get down. Problems. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that brings us to Jailstorm for the next one. Cool name. Yeah, for so this next team, uh, Wild. No Finn can stop us with uh, Captain for Christ. Uh, and they've got Glare, Quake Lord, Yo Daddy, No Way H. Uh, this is going to be a very strong team this <clears> year, uh, in my estimation. Glare, Quake Lord, No Way H. Some of these guys are um, very prominent in the wild community. So uh, I think they'll they'll be very strong. Yeah, this is a, a spooky team here. For Christ is also a newcomer too, but he's been doing really well. Like, I feel like I didn't know him back in January, but all of a sudden I saw this guy in top 50, and he went 3-1 and one as a sub in wild last season. Wow. So he knows what he's doing. Just came on the scene. Glare is also making a name himself in the community. He's been streaming. He's been hitting up a bunch of different people in the wild community that all know each other. Kind of becoming a friend of everyone. So he's been getting around. Quake Lord, excellent player there. He actually qualified for Wild Side Tournament. So for anyone who doesn't know, that's a tournament between North America or all three servers versus China. So North okay. America, Europe, <laughs> or the Americas, Europe, and Asia. Versus the China server. Wow. And I believe 16 versus uh, 16 by 16. And there's a prize pool for it. So Quake qualified for it. 
and he's very good to qualify for that. You have to go reach top 10 in your region and then play off, play against four people in your uh, group and get past that. And he was able to. Wow. So, very strong player. And he also had a very good season. I think he finished seven and two or eight and two, something like that. So Yo Daddy also very good. I believe he had like a six and three season. So he's solid. And no AH is always top 50. So this is a very strong team. Yeah, no, I'm excited that um, that these guys are going to be in THL. It's going to bring a little bit more competition. So, yeah, we kind of actually Marty made a comment in the, in in chat there, uh, just saying how much uh, the season's going to be with the conference just being one conference. It's going to be a tough battle to get the the top six spots there to try and get into playoffs. So it should be very interesting from going forward. So, Absolutely. all right, next team here, Marty. Yeah, so next up, we have Mancrix Revenge. Now, I've been going around telling everyone the Mancrix copy pasta, how it's breaking aggro decks, and combined with Bran for six mana, it makes decks tier S because you get, you know, free three tens that just attack the face and deal six damage right away. These guys get it, though. You know, Captain Sinister Me, he's a bit of a memer in WoW, but he knows what he's doing when he really wants to. He's not too bad. Uh, lefty, always reliable, you know, Good old lefty, been around in THL for so long. Just a great teammate mm -hmm. to have. Oddlaw, also a bit of a memer, okay, but he can get a very high ranks too. I've seen him, I've seen him playing like, I don't know, some weird version of Token Druid in like top 20 that you would never expect to see there. And he'll get like crazy ranks with Odd Hunter, but no one else knows how to play Odd Hunter the way he does. It's okay. weird. So he he's very good, just... Very unorthodox in his methods. Uh, Praise Chicken Drumstick. Yeah, I forgot uh, the E around. in there, so <laughs> forgive the uh, misspelling there for Praise. <laughs> All good. Uh, Praise Tr Chicken Drumstick. He's been uh, a wild community regular in quite a few wild streams and decided to dip his feet in THL for a bit. Nice. So it'll be tough to see how he does in uh, Conquest format, but I'm excited. It's always good to see people from within the community join these kinds of things and lord zab has some conquests experience himself uh he's been a caster for wild side in the mm -hmm. past and he's done fairly well on legend ladder too so should be a solid team yeah All right. you know, i've seen lord zav um pretty frequently just on ladder so i think that's the only name i recognize from this team but looking forward to seeing him and lefty's a bum there i said it <laughs> Oh, no. Lefty's trash. There you go. So, stream's done. Lefty's on his way up to my house to, to correct me in my mistake. <laughs> Any lefty sympathizers? Uh, of course. There's always lefties. Um, all right. So, let's jump to the uh, the next team there, um, which is going to be an OYO team. So, Doon coming in in the one spot with Slate, uh, Bone. Oh, uh, jeez. I... I messed up your your name again. So it's Bone Masher, not Bone Smasher. So I gotta fix that card. Um, then we have Mad at Arms being the captain, and then it's me, Mike V. So these are some veteran THL players from from various series, either Hero or Legacy. Uh, Bone Sma Bone Masher is is also uh, a new new player, I believe, in the in the THL. So happy to see them around. And, and Slate's been in Wild primarily. I would think. Yeah. 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 Uh, both Bone Masher and Slight are wild guys uh, hailing from Australia, actually. Gotcha. And they're both very solid, very strong. Matter at Arms coming back to take an oil team as captain, a bit of a surprise to me. I know Mike V took the helm last season, but had some challenges, so we had to step aside. It's good to see him back as well uh, as, Madden, as, uh, ah, as Matt at Arms and doing just being a regular, doing, mm. doing things, you know. Doing always it right. know he's going to bring a hunter deck at least once <laughs> during the wild series, and that's always exciting. I always, I always remember the first time I met uh, met Doon online was just uh, had the conversation of um, how many hunter games he actually won. So it was it was pretty amazing being up in the thirteen or fourteen k wins. So yeah, I, I think he's around fourteen thousand. Uh, yeah. Got to be coming in towards fifteen k now. So. Yeah. So what were you going to say there, uh, uh, Jailstorm? Uh, yeah, no, these, uh, this team's going to be a problem this year. They were a problem uh, last season. 
uh, just a lot of strong players. I mean, you see DeWin, Slight, it's me, Mike V. I mean, pretty much anybody on this team. It's not an easy, an easy matchup. So, um, yeah. A Doyle team coming in hot? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, all right. Um, so, You're up for the next on one the there, buddy? Um, we have F2L Feridian. Uh, Trash. I'm not sure if I've, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not too familiar. You know, with, I'm uh, leaving this call right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys can do the rest of me. Corbet, which yeah. reminds of Sorbet. Yeah, so he's he's not very well known in the community. Uh, anyway, I'll let you yeah, continue, he, Jailstorm. Only, he, he would Washed only up. try to get double rank one in Classic <laughs> and Wild at the same time. You know? <laughs> just, just a scrub. Never heard of him. Yeah, yeah no, these guys, you know, they come in with some pretty uh, high reputations. But uh, this is THL. You know, this is the highest of competition for the Wild scene, at least. So I'm not, I'm not sure if... Uh, if this team's got what it takes. Introducing their team, though, they've got Corbett, they've got Neji Boston, they've got Marty B at the captain, uh, Get Me Out, uh, who's new to the team this season, and Rod and Zombie. Yeah. So, a lot of returners. A fairly strong team. These guys made it to the uh, finals last season, if I recall. Yeah, so um, what, the reason we actually brought Get Me Out was because Corb had talked to Meowth prior, and Meowth wanted to join, and you know, Corb was thinking we wouldn't have a spot in our team, but it turns out Itachi was going to take a break, so we were able to fit both of them in our team, and everything worked out. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Wild, Get Me Out is probably one of the biggest streamers, and he has quite a bit of tournament experience as well. Mm -hmm. Back when Team One Trick was a thing, he actually won the whole thing, I believe. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so very exciting. I'm looking forward to the season. It, I'm really happy that he's on the team and back to Conquest because it's been so long since he's done Conquest as well. So very exciting. So Marty, you're gonna have yeah. to tell me, um, being a captain, being like a sus type captain, um, is Neji Boston? You guys are gonna have to hard carry him. It, honestly, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna do what he did last season. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> We're going to tell him, hey, this lineup is pretty good. He's going to get all excited because he gets to play a control deck. Because he loves his control decks. Yes, he like does. His Reno decks in Wild, that's like his bread and butter whenever he gets the chance to play those. What about, what about Priest? Is he going to be allowed to bring his Priest? Uh, every single time he brought his Priest, it was banned. He was very sad about that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, last season, all he did was win 3 2. Wow. Didn't matter. What he was up against, he just play and then come back, say, guys, I don't know how, but I won 3-2. <laughs> and that was it. Sh shrug so. the shoulders and, eh. So. Uh, just, I, I do, don't know, man. I just do what I do. Curse. Yeah. All right, yeah, Marty. We have a number of um, control enthusiasts with uh, the Reno specialists, with uh, like DeWin, White Delight. There's a couple of those guys in here, you know, so. Yeah, we'll be seeing more Reno Shaman from White Delight, especially with how he's been doing with it on ladder lately. Yeah. But uh, next team, uh, the Pog Merchants. This is, this is a diamond team, but this is actually stacked. So, Diamond, you lucked out this time. Uh, we have Lasagna. Lasagna is one of Wild's most well-known players. He's gotten triple rank one across all three servers at the same time. The dude has done insane things with Dark Lair Warlock. Uh, has been innovating with Death and Taxes Paladin. Just an insane player, mainly on Europe. I don't know how his collection is on NA, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. But if he can get that variety in and make sure he doesn't get countered, then he's going to be insane. Next up, we have Pace. Pace is... Uh, Someone I've known through uh, Hearthstone for a little while. He really likes his particularly Kingsbane Rogue and Odd Demon Hunter. He's like the Odd Demon Hunter guy in Wild right now. If you, if you want anything about the deck, you go to Pace. He knows what he's talking about. So I know this meta hasn't been too friendly to his favorite decks, but I'm sure he's going to find success in THL in a Conquest setting, and he'll be able to have more leeway to play the kinds of things he wants. Uh, next up, we have Maxi Bond, one, two, three, four. Uh, I believe he's another Aussie. So, a bit on the younger side. He did very well last season, though, and he memed quite a bit. He got to bring all different kinds of decks. We saw Dino Mancer Warlock. We saw some weird variations of OTK Paladin. So, Maxi's going to bring the spice, and he's going to get the points. Tom Carter, a bit new to the scene. 
He started last season. He played one week as a sub, and he's still getting his feet wet. But he understands the fundamentals in gameplay. Yep. So as the season goes on, I expect him to get much better. And if he can really improve, then he's going to be a huge addition to this team. And finally, an awful artist. Um, Well-known wild guy again. I have met him through Get Meowth, actually. Okay. So um, he's just a regular Legend player. Uh, seeing him get his feet wet in the Conquest scene is also really nice. And I expect good things from this team. They're pretty scary. And like you said, oh, absolutely. Diamond, I mean, diamond got lucky. I mean, I'm sorry, what's that? I said, di uh, Marty just said Diamond got lucky with this lineup. So, But continue your thought yeah. there, Jailstorm. Yeah, um, just looking at Lausanne and Pace, I mean, or Lausanne and Pace. I mean, these guys are such talented um, players just coming in wild. It's always interesting to see when they join a team like this, um, how the team chemistry is. When you look at their team's lineups, um, like all five of their deck lists, um, it's interesting to see what strategies they're going to come out with in the first couple weeks. So I'm interested to see. Okay. So it brings it to, is it me that does it? Yeah, it's me. Mad scientists. So we got catharsis as the captain, uh, siege, um, uh, better gnome, I guess. Yes. Okay. Whew. That was, that was scary. <laughs> then we got number theory and then we got Ken Ray. So, um, familiar with number theory, familiar with siege, and then catharsis, obviously. Uh, but uh, Betronome seems like a new to THL kind of player, and Ken Ray as well. So, welcome to DHL. Any news on them there, Marty or Jailstorm? Yeah, I think uh, we all know catharsis. Um, he's been around quite a bit, playing all different kinds of things. Um, we know Siege. Siege has been doing very well in Wild. Uh, he's kind of focused a lot more on Wild lately. I remember he was struggling a bit with certain classes because he just didn't have the collection, but he's improved his collection since, and he's been doing very well. Uh, he's most well-known for his super anti-aggro Reno Shaman that he likes to bring to hard counter certain aggro lineups, and it's done him very well. Betronome, I don't actually know much about. I know Kenray is pretty new to the scene, so it'll be interesting to see how they adjust. Mm -hmm. I can't say much there because uh, you know they're they're fairly new. Um, they still need to get their feet wet, but it should be fun. And number theory has just been a regular within the wild series throughout. So we know what they're capable of, and they'll they'll definitely do well. <laughs> there you go. Um, we've, uh, we've seen mad scientists before in the wild series. I believe Catharsis was captain. Is that right? Yes. Yes. It's been Catharsis. I think every time. Yeah, so they're bringing in a couple new players this season. We'll we'll see what they bring to the table. Yep. So now we go into the next one, which uh, ha happily for Jail Storm falls right on Q. Yeah. Uh, does someone else want to cover my team? No, know, give her, uh, man. You might as well do it. So we've got Bash Bros. I'm very excited about these guys. Um, coming into playoffs every every uh, season so far that we've been a team. So. Uh, Bash Bros coming in at our team is Anubinator, Reverb, Mr. Python, myself, Jailstorm, and Ricebull. Ricebull joined us uh, last season, uh, so we're all returning from last season. Okay. Um, it's going to be a very fun season. I mean, with myself as captain, uh, team dynamic might be a little bit different. We're obviously not going to change a whole ton, but uh, I'm excited to see where we'll go this uh, this season. You sure? We've gone to playoffs every, uh, every season so far, but we haven't really been able to make it to the finals or semifinals, so I'd yeah, like I to get say, out of quarterfinals. <laughs> I gotta say, Rice Bowl is probably one of the best pickups for you guys in the last two seasons. The guy is pretty underrated throughout the community. He knows what he's doing, and you know he brings he brings a lot to the table. I bet. I don't know what goes yeah. on exactly within your servers, but from what I've seen in other servers, the dude knows what he's talking about, and he knows how to craft a lineup pretty well. And you got yeah, Mr. Yeah, Python in there really as well. Happy to have him from last season. Right. Um, yeah. So you shortened your name too, team name from last season. Yeah. No. In seasons past, we've uh, we've tried to do Bash Bros and another theme on top of that, but I thought this season let's just uh, let's keep it simple. Yeah, and your graphic is pretty pretty nice. If people can see um, how the graphic is, pretty pretty neat. So I don't know who did the uh, the uh, logo I for you. Did the graphic actually? Nice. So that's a big compliment. Thank there you, you go. Yeah, it was yeah. very clean. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Marty. Your uh, last. Finally, we have 
last but not least, Crab Riders. Doc McButt coming in, deciding to play this season and actually getting five players instead of three <laughs> two days before <laughs> revealed. That sounds like my yeah. boy, Doc. Oh. Yeah, I'm glad that he was able to figure it out, though. This team is uh, it's a bit out there. I actually don't know a ton about these guys. You old hooligan, DSP jumping. I know Casual R played a bit last season. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're looking forward to turning things around. Rise is also fairly new, I believe. So these guys are either insane and they're going to pull off a miracle, like a team miracle thing. Where, yep. Where they beat uh, the USSR. Or they'll just hang around and have a great time. And there's no in between. Yeah, well, um, there's no in between. And so the moment they make playoffs, name, I feel that. Um, sorry, go ahead. The moment they make playoffs, they're going to be the favorites. Because <laughs> they're crap riders. Yes. Yeah, judging because, by their name. Because they I mean, stuck around. Strong. They stuck on the board. All you got to do is buff them a little bit, and then they kill the opponent. Yep. And they're going to kill everyone in the playoffs. <laughs> And if uh, Doc McButt is my good buddy from an old captain, sticks to his guns, he'll bring out Flappy Bird on every play. So, God, Flappy Bird. Yep, good old Flappy you know, Bird. You know, so. there's actually another player in here that unironically plays Flappy Bird in High Legend right now. Nice. That too. Yeah, Lasagna with his uh, Tax Pally, innovating with uh, Flappy Bird. I'm not going to say too much else, but it's a, a real thing. Well, I think uh, I think uh, Lasagna and Doc McButt should get together and collaborate with the with the Flappy Bird uh, deck list there. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's scary. So yeah. All right. So I don't know if Lotus is back. Oh, there it is. There's the signal. He is back. I am back. He is back, bitches. That is what was what he typed in chat. Indirectly. <laughs> yes. So, Pro Series. Everybody ready for Pro Series? So, there's going to be no spin of the wheel for a while. You know, it's green, green conference, so teams are the teams. Top six go in the playoffs, just in case people miss the beginning of the stream. Top six get in the playoffs. Top two teams get a buy in the first week. Then, two, three, or sorry, three, four, five, and six play each other in the first round. Yep. And the winners of those play the one and two seats in the semifinals. Yep. And finals and so on. So on and so forth. So there you go. Yes. So if we click the little pro tab, we are going to see two conferences. So, all right. Perfect. So I just want to see where we're starting off with. Okay. Here we go. So, Jailstorm, you can rip through the first pro team. All right, and we start with Aeon, right? Yep. But you got to say uh, it correctly. We start with Aeon. Um, I don't want to call these guys community favorites, but um, you see a ton of familiar faces here. Um, you've got Ridiculous Hat, Donde, <laughs> Markshire, Risen, and uh, and Donkey, actually. Donkey. So, it's a very yes. strong hold team. On, hold on, hold on. Before we continue, uh, there's one thing we do have to say. Yeah. Go ahead. Fuck Aeon. There we go. All right. Cool. Quote, unquote. Yes. Thanks, Based. <laughs> yeah, no, as you heard, of course, these guys are, uh, uh, what do you call it? They're hated by THL within the Pro Series just because, you know, they're such hard, such a hard team to beat. They've got two-star I mean, Mako as the captain. Um, it's basically the board. And, yeah. Uh, okay, on. Uh, you know, just, yeah. you always got to get in there with every sentence. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, what I can say here... I mean, this team has Dawn Day, so let's just move on. Yeah. I mean, they barely made playoffs. There's no way they do that again, right? They're, they're going to have to luck into it even harder than last time. Yep. You know, for a very long time, Aeon was really good at almost making it. And then they did make it to playoffs last season. Um, even and I don't think they're going clock, to do it again. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> that is true. Facts. All um, right. Well, it depends on how it is broken. True. <laughs> well, if the arms are off, then yes, it doesn't tell any time at all. So, anyway. Okay, you want to go on to the next one, buddy? You ready? Is it me? Yes. Lotus Knight, LK. 
Bonus. Yeah. Um, the second team is Hey Loser, um, featuring Sergeant Teabag, Draco Cat, Bucket Train, Sezoklo, and Flawless Slays. I know of Dr- Sergeant Teabag and Draco Cat, but I think there are a lot of new THL players here. Yeah. I don't believe, um, and I'm going to say their names really badly again because they're new players are hard. I know what you're thinking, Ron, and yes, it is true. Um, but yeah, Pocket Train, Six Loco, and Flawless Slaves could be interesting. I do not know what to think about that. We'll see how the uh, the two top top two players are are rolling through because they. It's, there's a little bit of an adjustment in Pro Series, uh, so I've been told, with regards to uh, competition play. So we'll see how the new players adjust. Um, but they could Ooh. just come right out the gate, start winning games, beating Don Day left, yeah. right, and center. Yeah, no, it's yeah, only... only to see. Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> there's only adjust, an adjustment if they play real players. If they're playing <laughs> Don Day, though... Is he a real player? Count? Yes. It's, it's almost... Like playing the innkeeper. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Well, only dude, one of them or two will get to face Don Day. Well, the dude is going to bring pure pally because for some reason he thinks Diamond Five metas, you know, dominate. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully these guys can pick up on that and adjust accordingly. There you go. There you go. So. Um, right. Yeah. We can move on to the next one though. So Marty, on to the next one there. Ready? Yeah. Boom. So, next up, we have Clownstone. Man, these guys, these guys are spooky. We have Nails Zarella, uh, formerly known as uh, Valera, formerly known as FBM2. Yep. Uh, also known on Discord sometimes as the Register. Yeah. Neji Boss in captaining. Kale is Luna in the form, and Lumble as the fifth player. So these guys were Yasuraj's Clown College last season. Uh, they made it to semifinals. Did very well. Yep. Very strong team. All coming back together. Look out for them. They're they're very spooky. Clowns are terrifying. Yeah, yeah. The most recent iteration of Canadian Clown Fiesta looks terrifying. <laughs> I mean, this is just these are just all great THL players, um, including the player who's changed their name the most. So. This is, yeah, I think it is the most, right? I can't think of anyone in the time I've been in THL that anyone has changed their name like five times since they've gotten here. Yeah, yeah, just, just ask. Did you ask. go to find them on the, uh, the lookup to add them that week that you're playing them? You go in, search them, can't find them because they changed their name. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just um, going to ask our hat about that. So. Always helpful. Yeah. Yep. But this is just a really good team i'm looking forward to see them um yeah canadian confi has a good team this season <laughs> i know there's only one canadian on the team i think that's an edgy boston yeah so there you go what's the young canadian confi no man the yeah, Siraj. No, right? yeah no he was he was yasaraj's clown college that's what this was you're gonna i know didn't participate oh. in the clown fiesta. Okay, Kalis. Oh, no. Kalis is okay. All right, cool. I didn't That's think right. Kalis was uh, Canadian as well. That's great. So, yeah. all right. Mm-hmm. So we'll move on to the next one with infinite value. So we have clone, uh, easy bake, interval at who's the captain. Then we got Pedro's ninety nine, and then Ray C. So I don't remember what team Ray C was on last season, but. They seem to do okay. They had little rough spots there with uh, with some people floating in and out of the roster. But these guys were all together. Actually, they played on Cirque du Soul Fragment. So it was Clone, Easy Bake, and Ray C from last season, and they're replacing Fanboy HS and Hygion. Okay. With Interval, the captain, and Pedro's ninety nine. If that helps. It does. So, it went too bad. They probably wish they did better last season. It was a bit unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Missed the playoffs. But 
could easily turn that around with just a single season. With some so. infinite value. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, just being stiff from the playoffs the previous season, that motivates you just a little more, so I can definitely yeah. see that. 100%. Fanboy went to Runeterra. Sad. It really is unfortunate. <sighs> Playing the inferior children's card game. <laughs> Uh, okay, you got anything to add on that one before we move on to the next team? Um, I think all I have to say is this is mm-hmm. a good team, but does infinite value matter when your opponent is going to play Deck of Lunacy and is going to hit you with Storm of Glow Apply, Pride's Fury, and just clear your board before that on turn four? Sounds about right. Chat, does that sound about right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of these teams are going to regret their names when Penflinger gets nerfed. That's, oh, yeah, Penflinger. <laughs> Penflinger's going to turn into Pencil Flinger, and then that'll be it. So. And they'll just keep it. It's not a problematic card. They're going to nerf. Oh, just nerf Hex again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Jailstorm, you ready for the next one, dude? Uh, yeah, so again, we have another uh, F2L team with a bit of a pretentious color at the end of it. Um, we've got F2L Scarlet. So this team has Berserk, Rescue Wabbit, Ariana 20, Snake, and Robobson as captain. So F2L has always been uh, pretty solid. So this is the um, mostly the same F2L team as last season, except yeah. Kim, uh, Chim Magician stepped down for Robobson to take his spot. Okay. So these guys made playoffs last season. Rebob didn't play in pro, but he's very well known and very good. And you know how crazy he is as a captain. He's in everything, everywhere. And we all know how everyone feels about the villains F2L. So they're villains. To see how long they can forget to lose again. Yeah. Ariana on the team's very strong. And same with Berserk. So yeah, I believe it's one N. For is it? Her. Okay. One and in Ariana. Yeah, that was my fault. So there will be typo typographical errors, and we appreciate it if you don't point them out right away because it hurts my feeling. I only have one left. <laughs> I only have one left. So yeah, if you ruin that one, basketball. then Sacco go off on the mic, and then you don't want that. That's that's just like a bad deal. So anyway, any uh, any other comments? Okay, he gets a. Uh, okay, so hear me out. This is the better F two L team. Okay, <laughs> écoute. <laughs> what do you mean, écoute? What do you mean, Lotus? <laughs> and let's talk about the other F two L team, shall we? <laughs> shall we go to that one? Okay. So, in their creative might, F two L has brought out. F2L Crimson, but it's actually red. So, yeah. Am I the one who gets to say this one? Yes. Oh no! Oh, that's going to be good. (laughs) Um, On the one seed, we have Itachi, who's great THL player, long career, um, washed up. I'm gonna call Itachi up for no reason, but (laughs) um, (laughs) I know that's not true. But I'm going to do it. Um, Then we have on the three Corbett coming from Wild, um, really insane Wild player, Che Magician, who came from the other F2L team, the Revis, coming back after a break. He was undefeated for so many games in THL. It was insane, and the captain and two seed. Is NHL and J fan Marty B, who's here right now, who I'm going to let him say why this team is the worst of the F2L teams. It says I'm on it. Hey. No other I'm Fair. I'm washed up. Like I forget what server it's, it is, but it's a Hearthstone server, and I think my nickname there was, for the longest was Dumpster. By the way, <laughs> I, would, I would dump like. I was outside of a certain rank, and because of that, someone jokingly said that was Dumpster, so I changed my name to Dumpster, by the way. Uh, So, yeah. Dumpster players on this team, by the way. 
Um, well, yeah. I mean, they've just got a wild guy on here, so I don't know what he's doing here. Yeah, Corbett just streams classic mode now, so he doesn't even know what he's doing in standard. It doesn't work. Dervis hasn't played for a while, so it doesn't matter. J Magician, he's from Mexico. He speaks Spanish. We're not going to understand him. <laughs> and Itachi, like you said, is washed up. So clearly okay. we are awful. Awful. Yeah. And it's gonna take it's gonna take my spreadsheets on everyone and everything to even give us a chance. So the calming factor would be uh Corbett's uh Aussie speak. It's gonna calm everybody down, relax everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna take that. So Okay. Sounds One sounds about right. That. Yeah. To be it, fair, just as a small note here, I do think this is a good F two L team. It's a pretty good team, but I think the other team is broke. Well, <laughs> here's what I'm gonna say. I, I want everyone to go back and look at the other team and think really closely. And I want you to tell me who has the better logo. Wow, that's I think red team F two L red has the best logo. I'm just saying between crimson and scarlet. Just go between them. Tell me which one's the better logo. You can send them in my DMs. You can post them in Twitch. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Just vote, want to hear. vote on a scale of one to ten. Which which one was better, crimson or scarlet? So, yeah. Our our DMs are open now. <laughs> all right, all right. So that was pretty creepy. So now we go to Marty for the next team. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, for to, to get away from the creepy stuff, we have para los chicos. Okay, for the boys, part two. This is an interesting team because it's another diamond team. Diamond did not get as lucky here, though. Just kidding, Diamond. You always have interesting teams, but this is uh, this is going to be a bit different from the for the boys last mm. season. Okay, no one returning, I believe. So in the first player we have Rusinho, then we have Mazu, TC Gamer or TCG Gamer, Mr. Python, moving over from his former team, and Doctor Bomb also following. So very interesting to see that the championship team won, or the championship team isn't coming back at all. It's just a completely different team. So very curious to see how this is going to play out. I don't Our, know what happened there or how Diamond really feels about it, but I guess he ran out of money. Have, he ran uh, out of money, so they didn't take Canadian funds anymore. That's what happened. That's the rumor. Yeah, you go all in on your championship season, and then you kind of blow it for the next like two, three seasons, and then you come back and do it again. So yeah, <laughs> what you do when you try to make it um, something and you blow all your money is you hire the immigrants to do it for less money. I see. Yeah, salary caps too that's high why, or something like that. That's so. why we have the Spanish team name. Yeah. <laughs> I see. And, and I noticed the typo there, uh, Dr. Bombed. So I said bomb instead of put a D. Though. My bad. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of, mm-hmm. lot, of, lot of errors in here. I'm sorry. He is yeah, the bomb. I'd, uh, I'd also watch out for Mr. Python on this team. I just yes. feel like he's such a smart player for wild... Um, yeah. Carrying that over to the aggro, he brings to standard. I'm sure it. Uh, I'm sure it converts. So, yeah, I mean, he's been top ten in standard in the past, so he's definitely a strong player. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so Diamond just gave us a little tidbit of information about uh, Rashino, though. Uh, Russian, I mean, whatever. Here we go. So Rashino and Mazu are two Argentinian players. Yes, according to Diamond, and they'll be very good. Uh, if Rami is wrecking is recommending them, then you know they're good. There you go. Oh. There you it's go. coming straight from a GM. All right, so that brings me to no pros here with Pasca uh, Excume. I think that's pronounced that way. I don't know. Uh, Agent PWE is the captain, your mom kid, and then obviously. Or obviously. Pretty had a couple changes in there, I guess. Obviously, being new, um, since I don't see bad to the bone. Yeah, this is just another no pro here team with Pasca and Agent PWE. You know, they're always going to come in, be competitive in some capacity, and do really well, no matter who else is on the team with them. So, yep. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Only expect good things from these guys. So. Yeah. In this case, um, I think the it's only two new players actually, because your mum kid was with PWE and Pasca last season. So Avi is the first new player, and then Xkume is the second new one. So I don't know too much about Xkume, but if Pasca and PWE bring them on, then they must be good. Yep. Um, I'm just going to say this because I'm the one with the radical opinions here today, but Avi is washed up. Just that's a fact. <laughs> and yes, we are playing du duos together tomorrow, and I'm carrying him the whole time. <coughs> but he's just playing league now, and so because of that, since he's a league player, I don't know anything about league to make a good joke here. So I'm just going to say that. He'll be better at Room Terra than Hearthstone. Oh boy! There you no, go. Uh, I want. I want to hear fighting as you guys are on duos tomorrow night. So I want to. <laughs> oh, hear... you should have seen the last time we were on duos. <laughs> that was playing too fast, and I was complaining the whole time about it. <laughs> <laughs> F your spreadsheets, okay? I don't give a damn. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so. Back to uh, Jailstorm for the next team. Yeah, so we've got um, Mankirk's multiple wives. Oh, uh, nope, sh you missed one. Oh, sorry. Uh, we've Man got Grief Crossless. Wives? I thought Mankirk was loyal. Uh -uh. <laughs> so we're at Grew Process. There we go. Yeah, so Goose is the captain of Grew Process. Uh, he's got Boolean, Taco Cat, Rice Bull, who's a great player. Um, on his team. He's also got solo jazz. Man, this team's logo is cursed. Every bit of it. This team is just cursed. <laughs> well, I, I'm just curious to know how many times Boolean is going to change his nickname in Discord so that people will have a hard time follow, uh, finding him. Because I remember him changing it to Boolean at one point and people couldn't find him. <laughs> so the captain had to be hit up. That's a good time. But uh, that being said, you know, Goose has done very well in pro, so just another strong season, just waiting to come from him again. Taco Cat and Rice Bull are also excellent players. Taco Cat is always, you know, up high. Rice Bull has shown in multiple different series that he's a strong Conquest player. And Solo Jazz had a bit of a rougher season last season, but should be able to turn around and do really well. And this will be a good team. I do want to add here that Due process has been um, in the cusp of making playoffs for I don't even know how many seasons. They're a team that starts either starts really hot and then falls really fast or starts um, really badly and then suddenly becomes a power team in the last few weeks. So are they finally getting over that curse? I hope so. Um, they got rid of the, the dead weight in JR. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Poor JR. Poor getting JR. It, getting it, um, and he's not even in chat to defend himself. Wah, wah. Yeah. Shout out to JR. Um, okay. JR's you know, it's okay. I'll tell him myself that a washed up player, a washed up dumpster player, called him bad and dead weight, and uh, he'll know himself. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. So, who do we have next? Okay, LK, you get the next one, dude. I get the next one. Yes. Okay, so the next team is Mancrick's Multiple Wives. Um, the captain. Sorry? Excuse me? Multiple Wives? Multiple Wives, yes. He's not monogamous anymore. Um, MPV is joined by to his left, to his left, lefty two one one one, um, wild nine, who's actually making his casting debut on Sunday by our schoolstone. Nice. nice Jewish owl and jester. I think this is actually an underrated team. There are a lot of players here who have a ton of potential, and just. These are really interesting people, really nice DHL people. So I'm excited to see them in action. Ufrika came up with polygamist man trick, Mankirk. I, I don't know if that's too long for people to say, kind of trip over the words. My issue, but. My issue with this is um, when people were told to find Mankirk's wife in WoW originally, 
They were sent all over the Baron's map, and it took forever to find her. How hard is it going to be to schedule a match with these guys? <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Uh, That's a very good, very good question. Yeah, I'll take that in consideration. Yeah, MPV, please make sure we can all easily find you. I don't want to go everywhere through Discord trying to schedule a match. <laughs> yeah, don't have two dashes after or three dashes after your V there. That that'll throw yeah. people off. So. <laughs> So, yeah, not much more to be said. They're they're a sleeper team. So. They are. Yeah, they look pretty strong. They get uh, get some great players on there. So, yeah. oh yeah, nice yeah. show. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of spicy meme decks you bring on the last week of regular season as well. <laughs> All right. So we got. Oh, Marty, you get the good one. Oh man. Next one is. Brushy Tuna. Brushy oh, Tuna yeah. is returning. Not the man, but the team. Yep. I don't know if he knows about this, but this is... He well, he'll know. He'll know. He does. Oh, he does know. Okay, that's great. My only disappointing, my only disappointment in this team is the five seed. Oh, Lotus, I you're going to bring all of these guys down. You know that, right? I agree. <laughs> oh, I've said this many times. When Ron really? asked me to join, I said that. Yeah, the rest of this team is nuts. Like, Bay Stink, Ron, Mexico, Icicles, Ducharmo, these are all great guys. They're all THL regulars. They've all had, you know, their input in all different kinds of series, in content. They're just everywhere. If you don't know these guys after being in THL for even just a season, then you really need to go out of your way to find out who they are just to <laughs> really get into the community because they're great. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, the, the team name is just cherry I on top. I, the, the tribute to Brushy Tuna, who had to leave for a bit because he went out on a uh, tour. Yes, on tour. So, very happy to see this. I hope these guys do well, if only for Brushy. And I'm really looking forward to potentially playing them this season. Mm -hmm. I, I think they should get a little bit more original with the, the name, like Brush Your Tuna or. Whatever. Well, we had a quite a. I imagine there was and a bunch of memes. I can just imagine you guys saying that stuff. So I can, I can bring some of them up if you would like. Sure, sure. Um, Give us some examples. I can find them. I don't even know where. Oh, team name ideas. So when we decided to make a tuna name, um, the options were Tushy Bruna. Um, we had Looney Tunas. Yep. We had. I'm trying to find all the ones we had because they were really. There's some yeah. really good ones. Um, Ron sucks. That probably of tuna. Tuna was really good. Um, oh, Donde, Donde's inner dad is yeah. getting mad at the fact that you passed up Looney Tunas. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Looney Tuna was a good option, but then they suggested, and it does make sense. It's like just, it's just tuna. It's good enough. It's basically as good as it gets. <laughs> um, Team Brushy Mexico. I go. Yeah. I can see that. Something that no one noticed, though. There's a hidden message in our team names. Our initials actually spell bridal because we're considering this Tunis bridal shower. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. That is fancy. Man, this is. This is deeper than a C movie lore. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, God. true. Ron's always the bride. Anyway. All right. Next up. Next one is faction. So we have Harash. Uh, God, Fog. Fog. Fogey 8. Fogey 8. Okay. Fogey 8. Flying Kraken, Unlimited Power, and then Walter Ruski. So. Returning team, I believe, from last season. Did uh, decently well through pro. I think that was our first pro season. So, yeah. Uh, the it. only difference here. Oh, look at Brushy the... in, ch in chat. What the hell? Yeah. Brushy, tuna Brushy you're, you're back. back. <laughs> tuna, 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 tuna. Yes. Welcome back, Brushy. Good to see you. But yeah, the only difference with this team is they lost Tonberry Blue. Yes. And Walter Ruski is taking his place. Okay. They're taking their place. So. Very good. Other than that, same team as last time. Very strong. Look out. Unlimited power coming in as the captain. And 
great captain, very community, very great to get a hold of if any any issues were going through um, their team. So, uh, um, all right. I want to say design wise, they have a great logo. Yeah, it's clean. It's very I like it. Clean. It's so clean. Can yeah, you absolutely. look? You guys need to win a championship, not this season, just at some point, so that we could get the championship merch. Because I need that on a hat. Yeah. I mean, we need a tuna to win the season, so we get a tuna T-shirt. Who I are get we? Get a dad cap, okay? Like a white <laughs> dad cap. A big trucker hat. Yep, easy. Yeah, <laughs> easy. And then I can be one of those dude bros that show up at those those music festivals and pretend that I'm like drugged up on something when really I'm just judging everyone around me. It'll be great. <laughs> I'll fit right in thanks to that hat. So make sure to win. There you yeah, go. No, quite the picture. I feel like the logo um, matches up with their name just so well. I mean, faction. Does. It quits with the logo, you know. Yeah. It's just so clean. Although I would have liked five hexagons just because there are five players. Yeah, that logo might conflict yeah, then- with the, uh, the Olympic design, though. Exactly. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. You know, you don't want to infringe on the whole Olympic design thing. The, the three here is just so clean. No need to yes. to mess with uh, this kind of design. There you go. I'm with Jailstorm on this. All right, Jailstorm, you're up next with the next team. You ready? Yeah. Uh, so Boom. the next team, we've got Poim Locked and Loaded with Poim Lock as captain. Uh, he's also got Violet, Voidham, E. Jimmy, and Chilla, Silla. Uh, on their team, so I like this team name actually quite a bit. Yeah, this is another team that's returning from last season. The only difference is Voidham is replacing Bulldozer HS. Everyone else was on the team last season, so super exciting. Nice, nice. Glad to see them back. And thanks to Big Tuna there doing the big ten gifting. Tier one subs to the community. He's trying to catch up to my total, but oh my God. he ain't Brushy. he ain't on my level yet. So, Brushy, mm. the one time you show up and you do this, yep, yeah. Did you guys like bribe him or something? He's trying With to bribe. He's trying to bribe the community right now by just oh, giving me some, that's, that's the way that. We're naming a team for him. Um, I don't know if you know one has one in THL yet or not, but. If we do, this will be the first time he wins potentially, which would be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I've got to give it to you, uh, Lotus. Just uh, that team name. I don't know if that influenced him to give those subs there, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure it helped a little bit. Oh, he's, he's easily influenced, I have to tell you. Just, we don't have to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think if you guys win, I think that'll be the only time in THL that we'll have someone win without actually being a part of the team. Yeah. Well, other than all the times that Diamond captained. No, Diamond <laughs> was a captain, though. So he was part of the team. It's True. Different. Oh, look at Brushy. Yes. Brushy calling Brushy, me out, what? you jerk. Just because just oh you're away. God, Thanks again, Brushy. <laughs> Brushy yeah, I get wrecked, base. Like you're right. You're right. But I, I'll, when he's gone, I'll, I'll be back up in number one. So it's fine. It's all good. <laughs> wow. So any uh, wow. any not to shortchange here uh, uh palm locked and loaded there but uh, any any comments on on the players that are on this team? Um there's not much that can really be said that hasn't been said already. Uh, they did pretty well by themselves last time. Hmm? And I know Bulldozer HS had a, a hard time adjusting. So seeing Voidham could work out to the benefit of the team. It sucks that they lost a player but it could have also just been a personal choice and it's exciting to see new people all the time so. yep 100 percent agree so who are we on next we're on lk there with the next team correct yeah i am here with the next team and the next team is swagoy um directly from sesame street we have cookie Mons. As the one seed, followed by no, I don't want no scrubs. No Glocko is here at number two. <laughs> Jared Pullet on the three, Edda Wise on the four, and Lynn Faces, Lynn Thesis. I do not know how to say it. Lynthesis, on the maybe. Yeah. Lynthesis. yeah, whichever one is correct. This is a, it's a nice iteration of Swagway, bringing some strong players. No Glocko is a very underrated player, in my opinion. 
And I think even though they didn't do super well last time, I think Sogoi is still a good name. Yeah, you know, Sogoi did what I think they should have done last season, and that's go down to one team. When you have one team, you can get all your good players, put them on a single team, and just destroy the competition. So they cut the fat. They didn't spread their talent out too much this time. And I think they'll do better. I think these guys can uh, push for playoffs this time. So. Yep. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. All right. So we got the next team with... Um, I don't even know where they came from, but... Oh, I got this. Uh, the champ is here. Popeyes. Spicy chicken sandwich. The champ Mick is here. Mick yep. Myanadon, Wet Goose, Honest Zabe, and... Uh, how do you say this? GR Jim? Yep. GR Jim? Right? GR Jim sounds right. Say GR Jim. So this sounds better to me. But uh, yeah, this is all but one player returning. Okay, these guys are just nuts. There's, It's no coincidence that they were able to make the finals last season. So Bobby is the only player that's not returning. I'm sure GR Jim will do very well to take his spot. But really, you know, Mick is insane. Mayan, I've played with him. He's a great player. Wet Goose is just top 16 all the time. Like, he's sleeper. People don't realize how good this guy is sometimes. And Ana Zabe is just great. So although I don't know much about GR Jim, I know the rest enough to know that these guys are not to be taken lightly. Oh, yeah, I would agree with that. I think this team just has so many powerhouses. It, I thought this team was going to win it last season, and if it wasn't Los Chicos, this would have been a win for Popeye's Spicy Chicken Sandwich in a very competitive season. So I expect this team to do well again. I would be shocked if they don't repeat their performance. Yeah, yeah no, this team's do... got a ton of firepower. I mean, living up to their name, the the spicy chicken sandwich. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. they're one of the greats. Too spicy for us. So, all right. Yes. That brings us to the next team. Washed. Right. Washed tap. Ugh, washed tappers. I can't even spit that out. So, we've got Heat Shock as captain, Validus, Ufric, uh, C Mac Comp H, and then we got MMW. So. A little bit of combination of the, uh, what was it, Tap Last and Washu Mishas. So. Yeah. This is the same team as last time. This yep. is the Tap Washers. But they also time. have uh, a slight, um, I was kind of confused with Wash Tappers, but they also had Shed Ape that's in the graphic itself once uh, once it gets on, on screen. So. Yeah, the only difference yeah. is uh, Bill Snyder is now replaced by Valdis. Okay. So it's mostly the same um, team build, but I do expect them to do well again. Heat Shock is just one of the most insane players I know in THL. Mm -hmm. I don't know how the dude hasn't become a GM yet. It's just insane how good he is. Well, obviously he's a bum, right? No. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm the bum. I'm the bum. Oh, okay. Player. Sorry, 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 sorry. My bad. Yeah, I'm the bum, so it's okay. I'll take um, the heat off of Lotus, who's the actual bum here. <laughs> Dante, I don't think we forgot about you either. You're still bad. You're so bad. <laughs> so bad. Diamond 5 meta over there. Yeah. I think what I would say here is that that logo looks so good. I don't know if that was Diamond or someone else did it. Congratulations to whoever drew that logo. Yeah. I, that's all I can say. This is still a good team. Good players. Um, the only thing I can say is this is not a warrior meta. So C-Mac is worse than usual. Control is not a thing right now. I don't know if you, <laughs> if any of you have played the ladder recently, but there's no control on stand. C-Mac is worse than usual. You heard it, folks. Okay. Uh, yeah, building off what Lotus said, though, I feel like uh, this logo is just so great. The, uh, the Shed Ape. I feel like uh, someone said it in the chat. It's almost like all knowing, having the uh, the ape in the shed to consult about the uh, the standard meta. I that's feel like right. that's uh, pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, has played deck of lunacy. <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right. So it leaves us with who's up next? Um, uh, Jailstorm. Yeah. Yeah. So the next second team last team gang. Team. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, we have sheepies. So uh, captain for sheepies is always lethal. Always lethal has Mikas, Cyan sheepies, Azonix, and Why the Hunter on their team. So. Yeah, this is another team that's coming back, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, it's pretty much everyone from before, except with Why the Hunter, who was a late addition last season, taking over for Eleven and Me. Okay. So, pretty solid team. They did fairly well uh, as the uh, season went on. They made playoffs. So, don't sleep on them. And Why the Hunter is also very good by himself. Was able to hold his own last season, so don't sleep there either. So you heard it yeah, first uh, from Marty. Don't sleep. I'd like to talk about this logo a little bit too, actually. You see the sheep there with the tiny legendary icon in the middle. The only sheep that I know that is a legendary card is Malagos's sheep with the Malagos polymorph you get from um, the five mana mage Malagos. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think that's what they were trying to go for with this logo. Uh, so this possibly, is a wild possibly. team in disguise, is what I'm hearing, with Mally now rotating. Well, you can play the card that gives you a wild card, but that's also in wild. Um, Toki? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did anyone play Toki? I actually had a very fantastic match once against a Toki that had involved multiple Ragnaroses back in standard, and it was hilarious. But that's beside the point. I mean, the only time I've seen Toki is in highlights, so it's got to be good, right? Yeah, it's great. It, it has to be. <laughs> you yeah. got to be. Forget yeah. about it. Yeah, but dumpster players <laughs> wouldn't know that because they're not good enough to figure out how to actually do well with a, a skill-based card like that. Yeah, you just need to make yeah, sure. Clearly, you these guys are just. Yeah, clearly, this team is just a very high skill. Right. Agreed. We'll, we'll agree. <laughs> now we have one more team, right? One more. One more. So that goes to Lotus Knight. Bam! Yeah, I have the honor of presenting the team that named itself after a database song anime. After Log Horizon, we have Hype Horizon. Um, starting with Mac Banner face in the one, Gamer RVG in the two, Cool Kid 2001 in the three, D Money in the four, and longtime THL player Liquid Ox, and Streamer Extraordinaire in the five. This is a really good team. One more time, this team is insane. They've been insane for a while. They're going to the semifinals again or to the finals. I don't even know. Um, yeah, they're here again. Here's my thing. They're only as good as when they remember to submit. <laughs> True. <laughs> there were some players on this team that missed submissions for uh, a few weeks. And hopefully it doesn't happen too often. But uh, if it does, keep an eye out. And you you'll be weeks. able to yeah, you'll be able to figure something out if uh, you see that they're forgetting to submit again. Keep in mind, Ox is Scottish, so he can always submit in the morning if he wakes up early enough. So that, make, that makes always, sense. Don't always count on them sleeping a few hours before deadline. True. Makes, um, it is makes. a strategy, though. For players in the East Coast, you can actually use their sleep time if, it, if they have not submitted to know their lineup. It has worked before. Not entirely true, because Ox has submitted for the other players. Oh, not for Ox, but I know in other teams this has worked. I've used that strat oh. before. Oh, okay. on other teams, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, but I'm talking about Hyper Horizon in particular. Because they yeah. are probably the ones I realized rolled over the earliest and the most. So, mm -hmm. Hopefully they're not in here and they don't hear me say that. <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure if they are, they won't care. No, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be by and they'll make comments. It's fine. So, all right. So, with that, that brings us to the lovely Wheel of Doom. Can I get some yeah. 
F's in chat for the Wheel of Doom. I just gotta make sure Wheel of Doom is gonna work. Okay. So we do have some F's. I believe they're all yeah. brushies. Also, Thank the Wheel of Doom. Oh, it's there. All right. Okay. So we gotta get the pink conference and the black conference text up here. So why is Aeon the only black word in the whole wheel? Um, okay. yeah. Who made the wheel? <laughs> it, the wheel was made by itself. It, 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 it just gave its own personality. So. Yeah, yeah. Don't judge me. It, it does what it wants and we <laughs> accept it and love it for what it is. So we're going to start with yeah. pink conference first. All right. So let's click to spin. Pink no. conference first. Hey, loser. Number one pink pick. Spin yeah, again. Damage to the face. Faction. I know that's. I'm going too fast, so please tell me to slow down. <laughs> I'm ruining for fine. the stream. So, all right. Next one for pink. Wash tappers. Dead ape. Okay. Next one. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Brushy's going to be mad. <laughs> Poor Brushy. <laughs> Wanting his team to be in pink. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get it's gonna get banned here in a second. Oh no! Someone, how do you time out a mod? <laughs> Easy. Um, I can try, but I don't think I can time out a mod. Next team, who's the next team, guys? Infinite value. Oh, All right. Black conference. Billstorm, who was it? Uh, I think that was Lotus, actually. Oh. My mistake. Who's the next team that came in? Palms locked loaded. Okay, for black. Now we go to pink. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah, there. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck these yeah, guys. Yeah, well, that fits, right? <laughs> Don Day is saying Aeon needs to be in black. Nope, you don't get that. No. Negative on that particular. No. Okay. Black conference. Magic. Ooh. Who wants to say it? Pink conference. Who's in pink? Clownstone. Clownstone. Black conference. Next for black conference is group process. Honestly, this looks more balanced than it usually does so far. Pink it's conference. We're actually telling Saku how to do it by hand. And we yeah. This. Yep. This is all pre-recorded. <laughs> no, this, this is being recorded for quality assurance purposes. <laughs> Boy, are we fucking quality. All right. Sheepies. Sheepies. Sheepies back in the pink. <laughs> uh, ooh. 
Ah. I boy. Why do I always land in whatever conference they're in? Can we talk about how neither F2L team has been picked yet? And I'm very concerned that both of them could be in the same conference. We shall see. We shall see. It's a pink conference. No pros here. Sorry, I kind of ruined it, but... Actually, the longer it takes for them to come up, the smaller the chance that they both land in the same conference. Yeah, yeah right, because if it's the last two, then they have to be in separate. But. So, weak spin, we got... Man creates multiple wives. Can you remind me where they are again? You gotta find them. But... Oh, no. Pink Conference. Oh, my goodness, the longest name in THL history. Popeye Spicy Chicken Sandwich. I feel like I'm reading an advertisement every single time I say that name. So do I. Also, I can I, I just... Hungry, but... As a stream op... If there's one thing I can tell for captains in the future, choose smaller names or we're going to abbreviate them. It's so bad to have to write it every single time we have a match on stream. Yeah, we always make a mistake. We just end up putting Popeyes in their case, for example. Yeah, next next team that comes in with LL Cool J, this is like going back for way back there for, for those that listened to rap back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, is uh, Pink Cookies in a Plastic Bag Getting Crushed by Buildings. That was a that was a song that LL Cool J had out. So that's the next team name that I'm going to have. So, Damn it, Slaku. Why you got to tell everyone? I know, How man. I, like, you're giving me and Lotus a harder time. <laughs> and yourself, too. I hope you realize. Yeah, yeah you're actually not looking yourself. Yeah, I did, did. Go Google yeah, it on, 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 on YouTube. It's actually a song. Pink cookies in a plastic to... bag getting crushed by oh, buildings. Sure. Yeah, and then we're going to have to put that word vomit on stream. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I will quote one of the biggest musicians nowadays, classically trained, that you should learn to love yourself here. <laughs> okay. F2L coming in hot. Oh, no. 50-50 shot. Are we in the same conference? You got one F2L Scarlet is in black conference. Now we're going for pink. And it is oh, the F2L. What, what do we see? F2L Crimson is in pink. Okay. As long as they're separate. So there goes our pink conference and then the obligatory role of who is the last one? Swagoy. Okay. There. Somebody screenshot that, post it, rub it down, oh no. Doing it as we speak. Okay. Fantastic. So there is our pink and black conference for Pro Series Season 6. There it is. Uh, Nails wants a reroll. Um, there you go, Nails. There's a reroll, dude. So F2L Crimson picked first. Um, who do you want? Who do you want to replace their nails? Um, <laughs> All right. Awesome. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> good choice. Good choice. All right. So we'll go back to wild real quick here with our panel and kind of review the teams real quick. Um, where's my spreadsheet? So we're going to do the top five uh, teams. I guess they're top six if wild. Um, well, we're also not picking our own teams, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. so we just to quickly review all the teams. It was Hair Club. Everyone's a winner. Uh, wild, F, uh, wild THL Fanatics. Uh, Fell Me, I'm a Wreck. Uh, no Finn Can Stop Us. Uh, Mantrix Revenge. Mantrix Revenge. Uh, Anoyo Team, F2 Alverdian, uh, the Pog Merchants, Mad Scientists, Bash Bros, and finally Crab Riders. So out of all that, Jailstorm, give us give us your top six or even your top three that are going to make the playoffs. Um, I'll give you my top three. 
Okay. Uh, so for Wild, we've got 12 pretty strong teams here. There's a couple that stand out. Um, for me, the top three so far are, they've just got to be Hair Club, Everyone's a Winner, and F2L Viridian. Um, I feel like these three teams are just stacked with talent um, compared to the rest of the field. They've done well in the past, and I anticipate they'll do just as well this season. So. I really think Hair Club got screwed with their uh, their situation in the playoffs and the conference they were in. They probably would have gotten a bit farther if they hadn't had to face the top team in the very first round. So yeah, yeah, I would agree. Okay, yeah. LK get uh... Lotus. I know you know nothing about Wild, so I want to hear your spiciest take right now. So here's my spicy take. I think everyone's a winner will continue winning. But I don't think they're alone in it. I think a Noyo team has a chance. And I also think that F12 Viridian has some pretty cool names, but is going to end up losing to... Bash Bros. Bash Bros. That's a okay. great take. I have to say, just fantastic. I feel like this is just trash on uh, me. Yeah, it's I really think just, it's really good. Just, yes. just trash in the dumpster. Don't worry. I, I'm I'm the dumpster tonight. <laughs> <laughs> or as, 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 as Tuna would say, Gorbich. Yes. Gorbich. Gorbich. There it is. So, so uh, for me, top three that <laughs> don't have me on the team uh, for a while. You know, you guys keep talking about everyone's a winner, and I think they're definitely a top team once again. It's the same team that won championship last time. They have a chance to repeat. You got to be one of them. Hair Club, I keep saying they could have gone further. I think they got even better with Memnark now. No, they're my, my second and third. I'm going to go a little bit different for you guys and say no fin can stop us. No fin? Yeah, no fin. Quake Lord is nuts. Yo Daddy is good. No way. Also getting the hang of Conquest now, top 50 player all the time on ladder. Glare and Forchrist, also newer to the scene, but improving fast for Christ, especially just insane. Glare, I know he can get a lot better and he can. he's going to do things too. And that team is scary. Okay. What do I have? I got. I, I think everyone's a winner is going to be up there. Um, I got Bash Bros. I got F two L Viridian. I can't. I got. I got to. I got to pick the scrubs that are on. You know, Cor Corbay and Marty B. They they're okay. And then, who's my third team? We'll go Man Crick's Revenge. Just Dark Horse. Ah, uh, so, uh, meme team that's good when they don't meme. That's right. So, there's there's my threes. There is my threes. Uh, are we doing a sleeper team from this whole series? Yeah, we could do a sleeper team. Sure. Um, sleeper team has to be team. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Go. No, go ahead. I don't want to hold you up. Sorry. Uh, I feel like, if anything, the Pog Merchants have just got to have the strongest showing out of uh, out of these teams. Just because Lazan and Pace, I feel like they're going to have such yeah. a strong season. Um, and they'll bring the rest of their team with them. So, Jailstorm, can we can we take that back and have me go first so I could say Pog Merchants instead? Because <laughs> <laughs> that that's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, Pog Merchants, they they seem very sleeper. Lasagna, it's just going to come down to his collection. Pace is good. Maxi is good. Tom Carter is just only improving, and an awful artist has experience too, and he'll do well. So, these guys are definitely the sleeper team to me too. Yeah, no, a lot of talent there. Okay, let's go to the pro and give us our pro choices there. So, Jailstorm, you can rip it first. Uh, so, my top three here, uh, I can't give F2L any credit, sorry, but I'm going to go with. Wow. Um, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Popeye's Spicy Chicken Sandwich. And I'm going to go with. I think Clownstone, honestly. Uh, I feel like these three teams are just pretty strong. I like their logos. I like their names. I like the players they have. So uh, if I had to pick three, these are the three I'd pick. Lotus? 
Oh no, did we the lose only three, bro? I'm sorry? Do I only have to pick three for bro? No, you I think can... there are a lot You can you can pick top five. Okay, top five. But not um, your... Okay. At number five, I think it is F two L Scarlet. I actually think that's a really good team. At number four, I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with Group Process. It's kind of a team that will start low as they have a few times and then suddenly rise and do amazing. At number three, Clownstone. At number two, I would have... Um, make sure I have the right one. Yeah, I think I'm going to say at number two, we have the Wash Tappers. And at number one, or sorry, at number two, not the Wash Tappers. We have Popeye's um, Spicy Chicken Sandwich. And number one, again, it is High Horizon because it is High Horizon every time. Okay, Marty. I gotta say, you guys are so bad at picking these. You never pick me. I, I get I'm I'm dumpster, but like everyone else is there to carry me. It's fine. I mean, I'm here doing it on purpose. So that's fair. <laughs> everyone else is there to carry me. It's okay. So I, I drag the team down. I know, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, with that said, though, um, five teams, no particular order. I want to say Clownstone, uh, Para los Picos. Uh, let's go, Brushy Tuna. Not because of Lotus Knight. I think Lotus actually holds down the team a ton, and they barely make the cut because how could you bring a scrub like that on this kind of team? <laughs> if um, I wasn't on the team, they could have spelled bird. They really could have, and that would have been perfect for Brushy. Um, so that is three teams, right? And two more. Uh, Popeye Spicy Chicken Sandwich. What more can be said about them? They were finalists last time. It's pretty much the same team. And they'll go far again. And like you said, Lotus, Hyper Horizon is just nutty. Yeah. So. Do we want to do a sleeper team for this, too? Or yeah, you, can, you have you five, can, right? No, you can do sleeper team. You can do your sleeper team, dude. All right, sure. Uh, do we want to do one together, collectively, like we did before? Or should we do our separate ones? Yeah. I'll do a separate one so we can indicate um, people here their teams if we would like or yeah. not. Sure, either one. Okay. It, either one's fine with me. So, Jailstorm, what do you think, then? Um, so looking at these teams, um, I'm not super familiar with the Pro Series, but if I had to pick one as a, a dark horse, um, I would probably pick Swagoy. I just feel like their team, what I've seen from um, from their logo and their roster so far, uh, I think they have a decent chance. Uh, they're not as stacked as some of the other teams in this league, but um, we've seen some oh, upsets oh, wait. against the pros. You said so. the forbidden word. Yep. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Based league series. format series. Yes. Yeah, league format series. Yes. There. All right. Uh, Lotus, what do you think? I think my sleeper team... Um, it's not Aeon. It is F12 Crimson. I think it's better than it seems um, because I think maybe maybe Marty and Itachi aren't as washed up and don't mess things up that badly. I'm just going to say we have Chain Magician. Dude's going to come in, say, this is my lineup. I'm playing this day. And then after that day, he's going to come back and go, I won. Because that's what he's best at. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm looking forward to seeing that weekly. Not gonna lie, if anything. So, now, uh, for me personally, I think the one team I, I mentioned don't sleep on them, but I'm gonna list them as a sleeper team anyway. That's Sheepies. Sheepies did very well last season. Uh, they got pretty far. Um, I, I see where Marty's going with this. Yeah, they, they were one of the top teams in pink, and uh, I think Cyan Sheepies needs to be changing his name to uh, Pink Sheepies pretty soon because <laughs> they're, they're in the pink conference way too often for them to be Cyan. 
so don't sleep on them. Or don't sleep on the sheep. sheep. See, that's that's yep. where I knew where he was going with that. Yep. Don't there. sleep on the sheep. <laughs> solid, solid. So, I think that wraps it up for tonight, gang. Um, want to thank our, our panel there, Lotus Knight, Jailstorm, and Marty P for joining me on this Friday night there and spending an hour and a half of some fun times uh, introducing the the teams. And I uh, wish all the teams good luck. Uh, in the Wild series and the Pro series. So, um, any uh, final comments here from our panel? Um, I just want to thank you for inviting me to be here. And also, if you would like to play your match on stream on Sunday, we have a very exciting 3 p.m. match on Schoolstone and are looking for a second match. If you would like to play then, um, DM me. Yeah. And I shouldn't forget to say it but we do have um the duos tournament that's going on from uh i believe five thirty uh easter time all the way up until it's done so i will be stream mopping it from start to finish and we're gonna have a bunch of um a bunch of casters jumping in i'm just trying to remember who's all involved so we got uh owl jumping in here we got heat shock we got cordon we got uh we got Beast, uh, Naturia Beast, or Natura Beast, or Geranium. It's probably easier for me to say. <laughs> and we got the Slouch, the, the, the Sleek, the, the, the Mustached, the Long-Haired Galoot, who always says, Hey, loser, we're on Mexico, whenever he shows up is actually the comment. So looking forward to working with those casters there. Um, looking forward to seeing how these duo matches go because it, it's always a fun time. So, and there's also Octathon is still uh, still a thing. So, like Lotus, Lotus Knight said, just if uh, there's any games that are coming up on the Sunday, just uh, give us a holler. Um, and with that, that ends our stream for the evening. So, I want to wish you guys a safe evening. Enjoy your Friday. Hug somebody. Hug yourself. Love yourself. <laughs> I can't. I can't go. I can't go over the straight face now. <laughs> Maybe not hug people. We're still on a bad day. No, just. Uh, yeah, just. Yeah, just DM somebody. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. So, all right. Good night, everybody. Take care. Bye. See ya.